There is something so magical about Paris in springtime. So if I were headed back to Paris this spring, this is what I would wear. The last time I was in Paris was April 15th, 2019. The timestamp on this photo is 12.45 p.m., a full six hours before the first fire alarm sounded. When we got the emergency alert on our phones, instead of rushing to the scene to gawk like the other tourist, we did what any Parisian would do. We ordered a glass of wine, sat back, and watched Notre Dame burn. So since I've been to Paris in spring, I have some idea of what to wear, and I still have my hopes up that I'll go back this spring, but I would start with these two pieces. A blue button-down shirt and the quintessential striped t-shirt that any Parisian has in their wardrobe. I would then pack these two layering tanks, which are so versatile and I wear them all four seasons. And for warmth, I would pack an ivory cardigan and a beige blazer. For bottoms, I would pack ivory jeans and blue jeans. A pair of black ankle pants and then this satin slip skirt, and I went with a little print on the slip skirt for interest. And then of course, no spring wardrobe in Paris is complete without a trench coat. A word about handbags. While these straw totes are very fashionable and they do convey that French countryside vibe, they are prime for pickpockets. So I chose this handbag that has three snaps at the top. While it won't totally prevent pickpockets, it's definitely a deterrent. Let's begin with the French wardrobe staple, the striped t-shirt, and pair it with some ivory jeans. One of the most frequent questions I'm asked is about shoes, and I don't believe in a hard and fast rule. You just have to try them on and see what looks right. So now I'm going to compare the ballet flats with the black loafers. While the little ballerina in me loves her ballet flats, they get sort of lost in the outfit here. So I'm going to go with the loafer, which stands up a little better with the jeans. And on a warm afternoon, this t-shirt and jeans would be perfect, but generally you need layers in Paris in spring. So I've just thrown this ivory cardigan over my shoulders. I can put it on and take it off as the day requires. No well-dressed woman in Paris is complete without a trench coat. And I love this one because it has an A-line to it, which adds some femininity to an otherwise masculine wardrobe piece. And I love the just the little bit of warmth that it provides without being the heaviness of a winter coat.
Next, I'm going to pair the blue button up with the ivory jeans to add just a hint of color to this wardrobe. Notice that I've rolled the sleeves up one time and I've also opened up the collar and secured it with fashion tape to give it a more casual look instead of the stiffer look when the cuffs are buttoned and it's buttoned all the way up. This just gives that easy, breezy, effortless French vibe. Perhaps one of the most elegant color palettes for spring is beige and baby blue paired together. I love how light and airy this color combination works together to create a spring look. This jacket definitely gives a, an upscale but also somewhat casual vibe to it. And now the trench coat pairs nicely with the blue button up and the ivory jeans. I see myself wearing this for a day of sightseeing. And while I know the tendency for most people is to wear sneakers or trainers while sightseeing, the ballet flats and loafers that I'm showing are both very comfortable. I'm of that mindset that sneakers are really for the gym and so I try to limit them in my fashion wardrobe. Next, I've paired the blue button down with blue jeans and ballet flats, and I love how the two different shades of blue work together in concert to provide an effortless style look. Now to elevate the look, I've added this beige blazer over top, and again, I really love that beige and baby blue color combination. This is a fabulous look for lunch or for an early dinner. Now to change the look of this blue button up, I've added black ankle pants and black loafers. And it just it gives it a more slightly polished uh, but still preppy look. Obviously the sweater over my shoulders, the cardigan over my shoulders is essential for warmth in spring. I remember the days in Paris starting off a little chilly but then getting warmer as the day progressed. And I really love this striped t-shirt. It is just one of the quintessential French wardrobe pieces. It's rooted in their maritime heritage where their sailors wore striped t-shirts and sweaters. Here I've paired it with black ankle pants and the ivory cardigan for a slightly elevated yet still casual look. But to elevate this outfit even more, I've swapped out the cardigan for the blazer. This is a lovely look for dinner, and I think I would wear it to the museum as well.
as I said a few moments ago, I really try to limit the use of sneakers and trainers in my wardrobe. I just feel they're for the gym. But this is definitely a functional outfit, functional yet stylish, if you're walking around the gardens of Paris especially. And to elevate the look, I've swapped out the cardigan for a blazer and the sneakers for ballet flats. This is certainly a lovely look for dinner and a glass of wine afterwards. Throw a trench coat over your shoulders and you are ready to see the lights of Paris at night. Au revoir, my friends.